When we think of speedy snow sports, we generally think of downhill skiing or snowmobiling. A little bit more extreme maybe, we think of ice racing with ATVs or dirt bikes. But this is something altogether different. Here the track is pure snow, the vehicles are trophy trucks, and the speed is as extreme as in any other sport of its kind. This is Red Bull Frozen Rush, an event that takes winter, throws it on the track, and pushes it to the breaking point. It's incredible. I've never been this tired in an off-road race in a Baja 1000. This course got so chewed up after six laps, but uh, it was amazing. These BFG tires with the spikes are one off. So much traction off the start. Me and Ricky he got me and I got a little traction. I almost drove over the back of them. It was a little scary for a second. Fear is a good thing at an event like Frozen Rush because overconfidence can quickly turn to disaster for drivers who don't understand the limitations here. As most of us know, Driving on snow is very different than pavement or even dirt. Out here, friction is at a minimum. And even with massive studded tires, these off-road Pro 4 trucks are at an enormous disadvantage compared to a dry race track. Speed is their friend, but also their enemy, as each turn or jump could mean the end of their race and the destruction of their rig. You know, the biggest thing here in Frozen Rush is being smooth. This track deteriorated so bad, got so gnarly. And I couldn't have scripted any better. Me and my teammate Ricky Johnson got to the final again. I knew it was going to be an all-out battle, but just got to stay calm, smooth, hit all my lines, and that's what we did here today. Frozen Rush began a couple of years ago in 2014. Red Bull decided to film one of their racing trucks cruising around in the snow, merely for the promotional video of the machine kicking up powder. While it looked so cool, they thought about how about doing this with a bunch of trucks and make it a race. And that was the birth of the Frozen Rush. It gave racers a chance to push their RPMs into the red while offering a challenge unlike anything they had ever faced. The first competition was held at Sunday River Resort in Maine in front of more than 10,000 spectators. Since then, the sport has only grown, with the 2016 race bringing in even more people to watch the mayhem in the mountaintops of the Northeast. These trucks are 900 horsepower machines that have been modified to perform in the extreme conditions. Special jets have been placed in the carburetors to allow the engines to function at an accelerated rate, despite the less dense air of the higher elevations. We found out, you know, the engine was running too cold, the shocks were way too cold, um, the power steering's too cold, so everything was just so cold that it wasn't running properly. And we figured that out and we found out ways to make it where we can run it at the right temperature. The suspensions and gear ratios have also been tweaked to compensate for the soft, icy terrain. And while they don't have heaters of any kind, it can still get pretty hot in that cockpit despite the frigid temperatures outside. Frozen Rush is a once a year event held on a single day in January. For racers looking to break into this new sport, organizers suggest training at standard trophy truck competitions. They're all over the country. These dirt races prepare drivers for the unexpected nature of off-road contests, giving them a glimpse into how difficult it can be once you remove the rocks and dust and replace them with slick snow and freezing temperatures. Speed knows no season. You may not expect to find it on a winter afternoon in the alpine forests of Maine, but where there is a challenge, you will find racers looking to conquer it, even in the snow. It just feels great. I love this event, it's one off once a year and we won it twice out of three times now. This is one sporting event that's never going to be postponed due to snowy conditions. From the Trailhead, I'm Terry Wood. Hey guys, if you liked that video, you're gonna to wanna to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna to wanna to like it, you're gonna to wanna to share it, and you're gonna to wanna to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna to wanna to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.